हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन आवर प्रीवियस क्लास वी हैव स्टडीड सम ऑफ द सब्सिस्टेंस फार्मिंग लाइक सेडेंटरी प्रिमेटिव सब्सिस्टेंस फार्मिंग शिफ्टिंग कल्टिवेशन इंटेंसिव सब्सिस्टेंस फार्मिंग एंड नोमेडिक हर्डिंग टूडे वी विल स्टडी अबाउट कॉमर्शियल फार्मिंग एक्सटेंसिव कॉमर्शियल ग्रेन फार्मिंग वाट वे वंस द टेम्परेट ग्रास लैंड आर टूडे द ग्रेनरीज ऑफ वर्ल्ड टूडे द प्रेरी एंड स्टेपी लैंड आर यूज टू कल्टिवेट ग्रेन स्पेशली वीट ऑन अ वेरी लार्ज स्केल द बल्क ऑफ विच इज फॉर वर्ल्ड ट्रेड प्रेरीज एंड स्टेपीज वेयर वंस द टेम्परेट ग्रास लैंड बट टूडे दीज ग्रास लैंड टेम्परेट ग्रास लैंड हैव बीन कन्वर्टेड टू द एग्रीकल्चर फील्ड today these two temperate grasslands are called granaries of the world because they provide important grains for world trade in contrast to intensive agriculture in tropic extensive commercial grain farming is characteristics of those part of the world where population is relatively low and fertile land is available in plenty commercial extensive commercial grains are done in the area where the population is low but the fertile land is available in plenty farms are therefore very large ranging from 250 to 15000 hectares as the farms are large and most all, all work is highly mechanized mechanized means here works are done by machines in case of intensive subsistence farming works were done by the people by the animals but extensive commercial farming is done work is done by machines and scientifically managed little human labor is employed per farm all work beginning from plugging to harvesting is done by machines tractors laborers laborers uh seed drills and combine harvesters that reap thresh we know and sick the grain are in use this type of agriculture is therefore capital intensive the main aim of commercial agriculture is to earn capital is to earn money so it is capital intensive wheat is the main crop and is of two varieties spring and winter wheat it is the crop uh it is this crop specialized specialization that allows a large surplus for commercial trade sometimes oil seeds like flask and soybeans are grown in rotation in the off season after the main wheat crop to enhance soil fertility wheat is the main crop after the harvesting of the wheat the other oil seeds like uh, flask and soybeans are grown in rotation to maintain the soil fertility barley oats rye and corn may be grown along with sugar beets and vegetables close attention is given to plant selection and pesticide used to tackle pest and diseases in this type of farming pesticides are used to tackle pest and diseases chemical fertilizers are also used in large quantities to ensure good yields in intensive farming organic um, fertilizers were used but in extensive farming chemical fertilizers are used yields may be low per hectare but yield per farm are very high because of the large size of the farm consequently a large surplus is available for export all the produce is stored in large silos or storage bins there from there uh, before being packed and shipped out in the temperate land monoculture or the concentrating on the cultivation of one crop monoculture means cultivating a specific of one crop is known as monoculture which allow crop specialization and therefore very high yields extensive commercial grain farming is done in the prairies of north america steppes of eurasia pampas of argentina and the downs of australia these are the grassland 
in india a variant is seen in the parts of punjab which cultivate wheat on farms of a few 100 acres